This is hooked up. Yes, yeah, what's amazing is that when you first come out and you look, you don't see much. But then when you start right. looking, you see so much, so much life out here. So you don't get out here that much, huh? I don't, I'm a city I don't guy. Get it, huh? I'm a city guy. <laughs> I'll be the first to say that. I'm a city guy, a bank fisherman, <laughs> uh, crabber. I'm good with that chicken neck on a piece of string. My job when I was a kid, once I was old enough to hold a knife, I had to fillet the fish. Oh, uh, yeah. But well, we had a great grocery store, a huge grocery store, and a great fishmonger. So, you know, you would order your fish whole, and you, I would watch them fillet the fish. Yeah. So when we went fishing, I couldn't wait to fillet the fish. Get ready. I may have a fish here. Just a dark shape on the bottom. Good. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Let him find it. Go again. You strip it out of there. Go again. Good. Slide, slide, slide. Boom, bump, bump. Bump, bump it, bump it. Good lord. Leave it. Bump, 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 bump. bump. Leave it. Take it. And bump, 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 bump. Hit him again. Hit him again. Hit him again. Go again. Leave it. Come on, fish. Eat. Go again. One more time. Kind of jam it on him. Nice slide. Long slide. Long slide. Long slide. Get it in front of him. Longer slide. Yeah, T-boned him. God damn. You guys have fishermen's eyes. I was say, man, that's, just, that's crazy. I mean, that is, that's crazy. Marlo or Omar? Omar. Because a man has to have a code. Marlo didn't have much of a code. Omar was uh, a pathological murderer. But he didn't curse. He would never kill on Sunday. And he only robbed drug dealers. So I would say Omar, even though I always told him, no more bodies, stop it. After Katrina, you, know, you heard people say, let it go. You know, why build it up? And I had to piss you off. I had to piss everybody oh, off. Man, pissed everybody yeah. off. We didn't say that when California was hit by the earthquake. Right. You know, we never say that about New York. Uh, you know, we actually are the only state where you can go offshore and drill right. the oil. You know, yeah. we're like Basra in Iraq. I said, <laughs> cut the oil off, and then they'll see how important exactly, New Orleans exactly. is. You know, we're out here in the wetlands. We know everyone in Louisiana wants to save these wetlands because that's important to us, and that's that's reflected in our culture. How are we going to value? the things that are important to us. And that's the role of culture. It's not just entertainment. That's a byproduct of culture. Right. Culture is really saying, we as a society, this is what's important to us. This is what we love. This is what we hate. This is our strengths. This is our weaknesses. This is who we were. This is who we hope to be. It's crazy, though, to go back and, and look at maps, aerial maps from before Katrina right. versus now and the amount of marks that we've lost. It's crazy. The, uh, Rebuilding of the wetlands, is it working? You know, I, I think it is in some areas. It's gonna take a while, but it'll happen. You just want it to be preserved for the future, you know, for our kids. I'm telling you. For their kids. Great place to fish. Point your rod at 12 for me. Okay, see that dark shape? Uh, yep. Now maybe see, 40 yeah. feet. Easy to lift. It's the dark shape on the bottom. Move it right and drop it. Easy, good. Strip, 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 strip. Leave it. Bump, 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 bump. Take it, take it. Come on. Go left. Long strip, long strip, long strip, long strip, long strip, and stop. Little bump, bump, bump. Go take it. Go and eat. You gotta find some hungry fish. Yeah, right. Shit, I wish I could make them eat. The wire of the Sopranos. The wire, period, done. This is the easiest thing ever. The wire. The Sopranos I loved. The Wire, we changed television. How did you find acting? In high school, they came recruiting for the New Orleans Center for Creative Arts. Okay. That's where Anthony Mackie went to school, right. that's where Harry Connick Jr., Winston Marcellus, Branford Marcellus. Okay. And this was a school uh, of performing arts where it was really about focusing on the craft and not performance. You know, and Got the first it. thing they said is it's important to understand, become a craftsman, you know, mm -hmm. become a student of your craft before you try to become uh, an artist. Uh, an artist, yeah. right. And so it, it wasn't about fame, it wasn't about anything like that. And so you have this small school kind of prepare you for a real professional arts world. And it's taken me around the world. I have a great curiosity about a multitude of different things. And what, mm -hmm. what really happens is, uh, as an actor, you get to play all those things at least once in your life. The amazing characters that we've had in TV are Bunk Morlin right. and, and, and Antoine uh, Batiste. Batiste. How did you approach each one of those, those roles? Well, first, there is a real bunk yeah. in Baltimore. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, I went out 
Uh, I went out with him. I went out with the detectives in Baltimore. I watched these guys in the homicide uh, actually do an interrogation. Yeah. And I realized preparation for that role was much like acting because they're students of human behavior. Sure. Now with the real bunk, I met with him a couple of weeks and then he came out to the set and gave me a look like that when he was watching <laughs> me work. And I was scared to ask him, what did you think? And so I waited all five years before I said yeah. anything to him. And someone said, hey man, Bunk is retiring. You better be there. So I was there. Uh -huh. And he looked at me when I walked in. Hey, <laughs> Bunk! I was like the prodigal son coming home. And with Antoine, it was... That wasn't much of a stretch. You knew that, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's, no, in, that's in your wheelhouse, like, right? <laughs> first of all, I was in my wheelhouse. It was New Orleans. It was all right. of that. But man, I, I knew so many musicians. So they were... They were on me like white on rice. You better get that right. right. Were you nervous that you wouldn't get it, that you oh, get it right? Oh, yeah, man. I was nervous about everything. I was like, you know, New Orleans uh, and Louisiana, if you don't get it right, they'll let you know. Yeah. Did you ever play music at all before? Before I this? played for two weeks. I played the trumpet you in played, sixth okay. grade. <laughs> That's about it. Almost every kid in New Orleans plays the trumpet play for like <laughs> one week. That's acting for Woo! Uh -huh. I tell people, because I cannot play the damn trombone. <laughs> <laughs> did, did people think you got it right? Oh, yeah. You know, I've had trombone teachers, you know, oh man, can you come and play at my school? I'm like, I'm an actor, I don't play. I whack, and they were shocked. So that's the greatest compliment. Uh -huh. and they think you are a musician, you right. know, but like the old saying goes, I, I'm not a real musician, I just right. play one on TV. Right. Now you just finished shooting season four, right? Season yes, four. season it's four, last season. and it's the last season. And um, it, uh, it's bittersweet. Yeah, you um, miss it? Oh yeah, I'm gonna miss it. But it, it's, it was a profoundly uh, beautiful time for me. Um, because it was the last years I got to spend with my mother, mm -hmm. you know, who uh, passed away just before we started shooting the last season. And uh, so I realized that it was more than a show. God blessed me with an opportunity to be with my mother in her final years and, and, uh, and enjoy that time with her. And then also it's a cultural document. Yeah, so uh, I'm proud of it. Right. And so it's a cultural document that I think years from now people will be able to share with people who are new to New Orleans, who've never been here and want to come, uh, and it's authentic. You got a whole school of dolphin over there, it's popped up. You're looking for redfish too. Yeah, bottom of the ninth, here we go. Bottom of the ninth. All right, let's get some fish. Let's get some fish right here. We're gonna get them right here. Oh, fish. here we go. Right, this is it. Promised land, it's right here. Yep, I feel it too. <laughs> I feel it too. <laughs> Come on, there's a drum. I'm feeling it all day. There's a drum with my name on it right out there. Got him. Set the hook, set the hook. Got him? There you go. Got one? All right. This is easy, 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 easy. Oh, okay. easy. Okay. Good, good. Nice and steady. Hey, tight to him. Keep real, 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 real. So jerk like that. Hey, keep real, stay tight to him. Good, stop right there, stop right there. Whatever you gotta do to get him in the boat. Okay. Easy, 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 easy. Get him in. Yeah. Throw him in the cockpit. Yeah, 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 baby. Yeah. Good fish, good. Yeah, good fish. Yes, indeed. Beautiful. There you go. There you Beautiful. Go. <laughs> it took two days. Yeah, man. <laughs> Bottom of the nine, baby. That's classic Louisiana redfish, right there. Yeah, we got the skunk off the damn boat. We're gonna get some fish now. Come on. Got him, got him. Look <laughs> <laughs> at those extra innings. <laughs> Don't miss us on Hooked Up. Hit the subscribe button.